What's your name? My name is Israel Tubisi. You're from where? From Edinburgh State, residing in Kano East. Can you please tell us your experience with the Nigerian military operatives? Yeah, the experience uh, was so sad. Um, they really attacked us massively where we had a meeting in Asaba. Um, killed many people and went away with the, the dead body and also arrested some people's life. And uh, one of my brother, my friend, so we all went searching for him. You see, so, and uh, traced it to um, uh, B Division in Asaba. You see, then uh, two of us was two of, two of us was arrested. You see, and taken to Awash prison. They are still there up there now. You see, so somebody also gave me a contact that I should go to state uh, CID and uh, find out that a uh, dead body and uh, some things they dropped. You see, so I went to see, to state CID. You see, then through the help of one of the police persons that gave me contact. You see, so why I was there, asking, trying to inquire. You see, then I met um, uh, together with the two police. You see, so they started interrog interrogating me and beat me, tortured me massively. If I know it, they pulled my clothes and took me to the prison. You see, then the person that I moved there with his contact, let her got the information. You see, that uh, look at what happened there. So he came and bailed me the following day. They even took away my small phone and took away my traitor and uh, the money I went there with traitor and uh, you see. So the following day we also I also went searching of that guy. You see. I got uh, information that What's the, the guy's name? The guy's name is maybe Moko. Who is it to you? He's a brother, he's a friend. He's a friend. Okay. You see. Then we also went searching. We, when we got information that the army that came to do the operation, you see, in that uh, meeting was not from uh, Delta State, you see, but uh, they came from Enu. You see, so I was like, which barrack? You see, so I took risk, you see, with one of my friends, a brother too. We went to... Uh, What's his name? His okay. name is uh, Kenneth, Kenneth Emmanuel. You see, so then, while getting to the, the AT Division gate, then Ami just told them, we'll just sit down, just stand up. He just ran out of here and crossed Merund. So one of the Army, two of them told me, if you move, I will shoot you. I stood. You see, so I then I begin to ask me what are you doing here? Why why do you come here? So I tell them the story that where we went to meeting, family meeting, army attacks us and kill people and kind away the body, but dead body. So one of the house army I say, so you pull up the Afra people. You see, so I stood before I know it, they begin to panic beat me, use shoe and everything, tend them to shoot me. You see, so they took away my iPad phone with two, uh, two SIM card and uh, took away my ID card. So before I know it, I landed in a very dark place. You see, I took you to this dark place. The two of the uh, house I mean, soldier, two of them dragged me. You see, and pulled my clothes. They even tear my clothes. How would you know the house people? If I see them, I will know them. If I see them, I will know. Them. I don't know their names. You see. So then, later about uh, going to two weeks, and we spent there. No water, no food. Where did you spend the two weeks? In the it's two division in Ugubara. Okay. You see. Then. Very dark place, you see. So later, somebody came from the army, you see, came there with my ID card, you see, and begin to call the name, who owns your ID card, this and that. So out of fear, I didn't stood up immediately. Later, I said, after all, man will just die, man, man will just die once, you see. I stood up. I stood up and said, I'm the one. And he called me. He asked me, are you evil person? I said, yes, I'm an evil person. What is your name? I told him. Instead of seeing the ID card, he took me the place, some place, and began to tell me that in case in the night, you see, somebody came and began to uh, 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 ask us, what is your name? Do not... Uh, Who was sent this to you? The army guy, the army guy that, uh, that uh, the Yoruba person gave my ID card to, you see, and he traced and came. He was telling me in case, in, in case in the midnight, if somebody came, come here. Should not respond at all at all you see i said okay there's no problem you see then he later came back again and they uh, asked me do we in that place we have about seven seven people so every night they would carry two three helos around 12 31 o'clock carry two or three helos come and pack people that they want to take them to police you around see? what time around 12 31 midnight midnight they will carry helos and come they want to take people to police so all of us, we will begin to reduce, 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 reduce. So when the army person, the army guy came again, 
you see, with somebody. They now begin to give me the tell us, tell me particularly what happened, what is going on. That uh, that uh, if I hear that they are taking people to police by 1 30, 12, 12 30 to 1 o'clock, you see, that they are taking them on non destination, kill them, they have not, that is just like that, they won't come back. Do you know those who are responsible for this? Are they Hausa Flani? They are Hausa Flani soldier, Hausa okay. Flani soldier that are doing this. You see, we we'll begin to reduce, reduce, reduce. So when he came back the second time, asked me how many of us, the Afra people, are here. I said I don't know. It's only me. He said I should ask. So when I asked, then about eight people raised their hand from plus me. He now took us a place. You see, and begin to buy rice for us. Normally, before in that place where we are, about seven something of them, they will bring one takeaway uh, with, with, with one spoon and ask you take one spoon. You pass it to the other person, the other person will take person just for a week. So that's how they feed people. Yes, for once in a for week. For complete in a week, we won't take away plates that one person will consume. Anywhere the rice is finished, those people who did not uh, reach will just stop for the until the next week again. So the army person that is the boy guy, you see, now came and took nine of us, you see, away. After they have reduced us to about 15, you see, now took nine of us away and begin to give us rice. You see, that particular night they took us away very close to where uh, the remaining seas. They came that night and with heal us and packed the seas that remain. Came in our midst, you see, Biafra people out of nine and packed five and joined them. You see, so and we take, take them away to police according to the way they normally say, in the midnight. So the guy came the following day in the morning. You see, and discovered that we only four out of seven something. So, that so made. what do you mean taking them away to the police? Anytime they say the according to what he told me, because it's an army is also, he said anytime we hear they are taking them to police, that they are taking them no destination to go and kill them and bury them like that and came back around two or three o'clock. And without traces. Without traces. You okay. see that trace where this thing happened in Inugu, they cannot trace it. And he told me that you can hardly see army person who is a Biafra. You see, with any phone that has camera, because they normally picture it and send it. Even at the backyard, you see people with short necker, on Biafra people, guys, youth with short necker. They will tie their leg, two leg, tie the two hand, and bend them, tie them on the uh, 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 tree like that. You see, and use rope and carry two block or concrete, put at the middle of their back. Once the person suffocates, you see, or a kind of brick glass. Among of the person will be among of the person they are going to carry around 12 o'clock. Say they want to take them to police. We we'll take them to police. We join them, pack them, massive like that. So when he came, he now find out that now we only remain about four of us. So he was so bitter. He began to ask me, don't I have anybody that I will call? That I have spoken with the one of the outside guy person. Don't I have anybody I'm going to call? He spoke with him. He told him to go and bring uh, 300 and. Uh, and he began to beg because he himself also speak Hausa. So he began to beg and beg and beg and beg. And the, the, the man, Hausa man, the army man, now told him to go and bring uh, 150. You see, so when I now call person, so the person I now call to explain things was the wife of the guy that we are looking for. You see, so he now gives somebody called Kenneth the number. You see, Kenneth now talk with him and uh, began on 100 naira. You see, after that, they see that raising that money will be very, very late. That people will come and carry us and take us to police. They say, unknown destination. So what he did is that he just, in the night, got called about three other uh, Biafra people who are our army in that barrack. In the night, around 12.30, he called them, started discussing. So they say what they are going to do is to do the same thing, to use that system that they have been using to go and kill people. So the system they used was that around 12.30, they now call for a force that remain. One person from Abakeleke, two from uh, Igwacha and River State. You see, then I from Onicha. So he, around 12 30, he now called for a force and put us in the hills. Write something we were, um, put on our, on our chest. We are taking them to police. And he, they, he told us if we enter hills, we should just lie down helplessly. You see, as if we have died, we are weak. Oh. And we are very, very weak. So around 1 o'clock, he now drove that hills with. The one other Igbo guy that carry healers in the night, you see. So getting to the gates of uh, its two division out as, as you are going out. So there are more than ten Hausa uh, uh, soldier. You see. They now ask them, where are you going? So he now he use Hausa to reply them. The Igbo army guy use Hausa and reply them that they are taking them to police. He now held them, held them very very well. So he drive us to Old Park. You see, when we are going in the night, four of them were speaking Igbo. You see, so. He drive us to Old Park in Enugu State around after two. 
and went to the peace park and knocked at the gate. They have locked the gate. The security came out. You see, I'm telling you how I personally came out. You see, so without money. So the security now came out and he asked security which motor is going to Onicha and the police state. He refers to the next park that this particular one we came is Abuja and Lagos Park. So we now enter uh, Hilos. He took us to that one going to a police state and the Onicha Park. So we, he knocked at the gate. The army people knocked at the gate. So the security now came. You see, so he asked them, is this one going to Onicha and Park? He said yes. So I army now now army man now beg the security man. You see, say please take this money. That these people are very, very weak. We are weak, very, very weak that time. We don't see food, water to drink. For complete going to a month, you see, and you see, one week. So he now begged the security man, the security man collected key, uh, money from him. So he now told him that they break by six o'clock, collect receipt, going to a uh, uh, ticket, going to Onicha, and put this man, give this man a ticket, give this one going to Ebony State. Then the other uh, two is going to River State. So we just, they drove out and wrote uh, something like a uh, phone number an account number telling me that there have been seven people here that our people have died i can see it with my eyes more than 77 people died mine seventy we about 78 you see minus four of us that remain alive the rest we have been taken to police young, they, young people are there ipob members the 